here before, but this time we noticed something new that we hadn't seen before. There's obviously some sort of structure here, and we have no idea what it was, but presumably it was connected to the comet in some way because the comet is just just in there. So I don't, I don't think it'd be the Gardner's. Yeah, there's another mine nearby called Gardner's Point, but that's uh, that's that ways up over the ridge. So we don't know what this was, but it's interesting all the same. Here's another view of that site we were just talking about. You see Chuck coming down there. And then there's a nice little waterfall or ravine right here. Coming down from the creek there. Where it runs into the, the main creek going down Deacon Long Ravine. And then uh, See that water there, that's water coming out of the Comet Tunnel. The Comet Tunnel is just around the bend there. But uh, yeah, there are some big timbers here. I mean, yeah, beefy. I mean, you can, like me. <laughs> I mean, you can see, I got my hand on this now, so you can see the proportion of the size of my hand, how large they were. We are checking out this one, we found another one below it. That's maybe uh, 40 feet below us. I'm standing on the the level where the other one was, and uh, looking down to another one. So I don't know what these were for, but uh, it's interesting to have them one on top of another like that. And uh, looks like Chuck's trying to make his way down there. But uh, I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but it is steep. Way down to this lower site, the upper one I showed you is up there, and lo and behold, there is a tunnel in front of us, which we were not expecting, but you take tunnels where you can find them. There's some bits of metal and stuff down here. There's an um, intake. Pretty big uh, bits of wood and such. Wow. So let's go check this out. Oh my god, it's huge. Huge. And it's fucking dry. Is it dry? It's that is so welcome to hear. Perch the entrance of that mine. See, it goes back a decent ways. And what's interesting that you can still see the cross ties from the tracks that went back there. And uh, some bits of metal here. Wow. But it's dry, which is a huge treat for us. <laughs> and, and it doesn't look like a lot of mosquitoes. And it doesn't look like a lot of mosquitoes, so we are excited about this one. Yeah, they saw the spikes in these things. Intense. But the orange tracks are gone. Yeah, the tracks are gone, but there's a... Uh, mine is still very much here, so we're gonna head up and check it out. This is all hard rock. Yeah. Pretty mineralized. Big. And it's fascinating because the, the cross ties just keep going up all the way. I'm not sure if this is coming across on the camera, but uh, this is really neat. I don't, I've never seen this. I'm just not sure. A lot of water. Looks like there's some pipe up here. Uh, it looks like maybe just a big timber, but uh, none of the ceiling is timbered, so not sure what that that would have been. But headed towards the back here. I can't tell yet. Can't tell if it's a dead end or if it drops down. And, well, big banana slug right there. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, just dead ends right here. I can still see some, I don't know if this comes from the camera, there's some drill holes there and there. I'll, uh, I'll scoot my way back there and try not to step on the slug. Whoa. That just scared the hell out of me. There's a giant rat back here. <laughs> so maybe we won't go and check out those uh, drill holes right now. <laughs> Plus there are a bunch of slugs back there. Did you see this uh, block stuck in the wood up here? Or the wood, wood block stuck in the rock up here? Yeah. I mean, this rat is just staring me down right now, man. He, he does. He's not afraid of me at all. He keeps coming towards me. What's up, bitches? He's a big boy. Wow. 
Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm not going to fuck with you. Don't worry. Um, anyway, yeah, a couple drill holes back there, and I think we've gone far enough. I'm not going to harass the rat. What's back? Oh, here's part of a reel. Oh, did you find? Off from here. There's the door part reels. I'll come take a look at that. Back towards the entrance, and uh, Chuck noticed some reel right here. Actually, both rails. You can still see the rails here, so that's pretty neat. And just following them out in the cross ties to the uh, entrance or exit there to put in your perspective. Flowstone here I want to share with you. You can see uh, it looks like slime, but that's as hard as a rock because it is a rock. Calcated. And uh, it goes all the way down. That's pretty neat. Got one of those wood blocks here that they would string the uh, the wire on for electricity or Actually, phone service or something. Or uh, they were from blessed up on that side. And there's dynamite behind it, but because see, there's a drill hole, there's a drill behind it, there's a drill bore hole, whatever behind it. And I mean, it could be, yeah, for anything though. Because so here's uh, headed back towards the uh, entrance. Just want to show you how that looks from the other side. Just really cool to see these uh, cross tiles and rails in here still. And uh, big piece of metal there. I don't know if that used to block the entrance or something, but no longer serves that function. And, uh, this is a big tunnel, dude. Yes, it was. And it exits out like this down to uh, bits of wood and equipment there in the creek. To get another view of the uh, entrance to this uh, this mine here where Chuck is. And the tunnel's right behind him. And uh, lots of little bits of wood and metal and equipment down here. And to my left, it's kind of hard to see because of the, the willow, but there's a huge bit of piping here Dude, all through there right and then the one Chuck's talking about is the uh, intake right there and the pipe I was talking about goes up there wow. you see uh, just lots of stuff around here wow. and then uh, yeah like you said there's a bunch of nails in this, uh, this log here, so it was used for something. Don't know what, but now that pipe I think was for the air drill. That would make sense. Like all this piping here, yeah. and presumably the uh, the tailings just went down here, down into the creek, and then. Gardner's Point is just up and over there, so I guess we'll call this the uh, the mine under Gardner's Point or something like that, because don't know anything else about it. And like I said, that other building, or yeah, that other structure was up there, so maybe that was the uh, where the compressor was or something like that.